You know, I don't know. In my case, I've always thought it was rather odd being raised around music. Like I mentioned, it's since I was born. It wasn't until I was like 13 years old that I all of a sudden wanted to learn how to play. And I think part of that was <clears throat> there was a period when my dad was working for the government that uh, he wasn't playing music. But an ad came out in the paper looking for musicians that could play square dance music. And um, so my dad answered the ad and, and was hired. And that was the first time I ever heard him really you know, up close, really playing something, not just picking around a little bit around the house. And I went, wow, he's really good. And then, um, but it was just a, my uncle had a mandolin, and my cousin and I used to pick it up like any kid would if it was laying around, you know, and we'd try to see who could play a certain song, a very rudimental uh, song, the further us into it without making a mistake. It was a little challenge between him and I. And then, uh, again, like any kid that age, you know, and that's, I'm talking like 10, 10 years old, we get tired, we'd lay it down and go out and play football, baseball, whatever it was in season. And, um, and then whenever, pick it up again. And, and we like music, he and I, you know, really liked music, but um, no more than any other kid uh, at that age. But one day after we'd moved to, wa to Washington, my neighbor had heard me picking on this banjo, just very, very little, if any. So he come out, he brought a guitar. And uh, he said, have you ever, uh, have you ever had a guitar to, to play on. I said, I've never been, of all the instruments that my uncles and my dad played, there was never a guitar. It was mandolin, tenor banjo, fiddle, and, uh, and that was about it. And so I said, no, I never, never uh, had a chance to, to even hold a guitar. And so he said, well, here, and he handed me his guitar. And um, I strummed down across the strings, and when I did, the softness of those strings, six strings, all the way from the treble string up to the bass strings. And it was so nice, it was that, that light switch that you've often heard about just clicked. And I said, I've got to learn how to play. And that was in the fall of whatever year. It must have been around, around 45, 1945. And um, I just said, I, got, I have to learn how to play. So we, the Sears and Roebuck catalog was, was our wish book. And, you know, late in the fall, uh, my sisters and brothers uh, and I would get together and circle what we wanted for Christmas in the book and put our name next to it. Well, mine went right around that guitar. And Christmas of my 13th uh, Christmas, I come down that Christmas morning and there was a guitar under that tree and a book, two books. One was favorite songs and the other was 300 chords for guitar and how to use them. And I looked at everything else, took the guitar up to my bedroom, sat down with the book and started trying to learn how to play. Well, I played and played and played till my fingers actually bled. And I found, it, but I was so eat up that I couldn't wait. I found out if you get a glass of water, fill it with ice water, soak your fingers in it, it makes them numb. And you can continue. <laughs> I mean, that's, what in a way is going to stop? And then I had a built-in teacher. When my dad come home from work, uh, if I had a problem and didn't understand how something went, all I had to do is wait till he'd come home. And uh, he'd show me, and I was off and running. So I didn't have to wait till the following week, you know, to go to a regular music teacher. And uh, two weeks after I got that guitar, I went 
and played a square dance with him. Now again, it was like learning on the job because I could sit in the back where I couldn't be heard all that much, but I'd watch them when they changed chords and I'd watch what they were doing and I would change. And if I was a little late, if, if I changed too quick or too slow, it didn't upset anything because you couldn't, you couldn't hear me all that well. But boy, you talk about the best in, of all worlds to learn how to play is that book and my dad to get me over the problems and then have music to play with others that you could play along with them and still not interrupt or, or ruin if you made a mistake. And then I noticed that as time went on, they would, we, we sit down and played because we didn't entertain, we just played square dance music. And so I noticed they'd move my chair up a little further to the front. And lo and behold, it wasn't too long till they had me on the front line. I was good enough that I could be right up front. And I said, wow, this is, this is neat.